Great. And I'm going to continue on here. And I'm going to open up my list of URLs, nine of them. And my browser. And just, just while I'm here, because I forgot to do this earlier, I'm going to take a look at what's running. So, 15 megabytes there. It looks like a 15 megabyte of RAM for this product right now. That's not too bad. Um, just going to set my watch. There we go. And I'm going to start putting some of these in. This is a rogue antivirus. Alert. Program behaves in a similar, similar manner to a spyware lawn bypass back door. And it shows me the name. And it shows me the details. I'm going to block and quarantine that program. And it was a run error. So far, so good. This is a, another rogue fake antivirus. Not available. Woohoo. Just eight URLs now. This is a... Um... It was supposed to be an exploit. Okay, never mind that. This is another executable Trojan worm thing. That one doesn't look like it's working either. I know that these work here. I just made sure there was some kind of executable behind them. So, program tries to modify an auto run entry. It gives you time to take a look at the details. Um, the info. I'm going to quarantine it. It has been quarantined. This is a worm. Program tries to install invisibly. It thinks this is okay. Um but it gives you a chance to check whether it's okay or not and it'll go okay and I'll quarantine it this next one is another Trojan so it tries to install a service or device driver I wonder if it tells me what service or driver. Okay. So I'm going to block program and I'm going to quarantine it. Because I don't I don't feel like um dealing with anything. Okay, that didn't that didn't work. Ultimate failure, the file was broken or something. So it tries to manipulate other processes and it puts that in red. It wants me to block the program. It doesn't it doesn't think it's um
It doesn't think it's uh good. Everything seems to be frozen here. What is this about? Hang on. This seems to be frozen. I'm just going to pause the video and see what happens. All set. Going to quarantine it. So that was that. And let's just say I wanted to download a legitimate file. Uh, I want to see what it does. I'll download C Cleaner. And it looks like I don't get any alerts for a program like this. Um, finish. And then let's say I run CCleaner. It has no problem. So it probably has a, a large safe list of programs for it to ignore and CCleaner is probably one of them. So it's a great piece of um, it's a great program and just for today it was available at um, Raymond.cc for free. That's where I saw it listed but it was originating probably from Gizmo's freeware. And you can get one year of this free. So it just got me interested to do a, a test to see how it did. So thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to put this up now. Bye.